Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric. And welcome to... actually the finale of Minish Cap, probably. I mean, the boss key's right here. And with that, I'll be able to unlock the boss door. However... This game does take after some of its predecessors where the boss door isn't necessarily the boss door, it's just, like, the second half of the dungeon. Which is a lot rarer in modern cases, but who knows? This is the final dungeon, so... Ha ha ha! You are persistent, aren't you? <laughs> So, you've come to stop my little ceremony. Well, you're too late. A mere three more chimes of the bell will bring the ceremony to its end. And with the third toll of the bell, I will become like a god. And your precious Princess Zelda will be nothing more than cold, dead, stone. There's no time! Quickly, Link, to the roof! You're right, as low there's no time. There's no time for these shenanigans. Uh-oh. Did you hear that, Link? Hurry, there are only two chimes left! Well, that didn't really see time seem time-restrictive. That just sort of happened as soon as uh, we entered the room. So I'm imagining there's not an actual time limit here, at least not right now. It's just a false sense of urgency. Though maybe the final chime of the bell will be a time limit on something. Like there'll be one fight we have to do in limited time. Another bell has tolled! Just one more chime and all our work will have been for... I assume he said nothing. Come on, just let me stun you and then get to your sides. That's all I need. It's a momentary stun and then a few hits in the side. Oh, I didn't uh, keep hitting the button long enough. Get out of there, Link. Come on, there's one down. Come on, got a good hit on the dark one, come on, got him, and one more hit on the red one is all I need, and I should be easily able to do that. Good. Although I do want to see all the pots have hearts, good. I would love to be on full health when starting the Vardy, Vardy fight. Hello! That's strange. I haven't heard the bell toll a third time. Hmph! <laughs> Just a few more moments and the ceremony would have been complete. You really are obsessed with stopping me, aren't you? Ah, oh, very well. I have not yet drained all of the light force housed in Princess Zelda, but what I have should suffice. I shall be transformed, unstoppable. But let me first attend to the pesky worms who would trifle with me. Hmph. <laughs> huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> so, Vardy. I will have no more of you interfering with my plans. Let me show you true power. Oh no, he's taller. And has an eye in his cloak and a couple floating around. Oh. Ah, I see. Break the two smaller eyes and I'm able to hit him. 
hell? Well, Vardy, you really didn't think this whole circling shield of your only weakness thing through, did you? Uh, oh, they shoot lasers now. That would be a lot more devastating if they fired horizontally. But no, they seem to be capable of vertical only. And if I stand to the side of him, it's not a threat. Oh dear. Um. Hang on. <laughs> Ow. Well, that's just cheating. You can't just spawn it on top of me like that. Um. Ow. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a moment. Y your eyes are enshrouded with those balls of darkness that I can't seem to do anything about. Um. Be beams do nothing. What? What am I meant to do about these? Gust jar, maybe? Doesn't seem likely. Well, never mind. That that thing that I said didn't seem likely? Nope, that was the correct answer. Don't even worry about it. Hang on. Just get that one, because I can. I was meant to be aiming left, but sure game. This is fine as long as the eyes are vulnerable to me again. Try and teleport away all you want, Vardy. This is a very small enclosed arena. You know, dodging the fire seems very beneficial to me and my continued survival, but at the same time, if I tank the hits, I can get, like, all the eyes at once, which is also very useful. I was one hit off? <laughs> well, you seem to have some fight in you. I commend your bravery, but you will not survive this. I am filled with a power that you cannot begin to understand. Do you think that puny sword will save you from me? And now his true demonic form. Oh. I see. You've put spikes in the arena. Those are a real threat to me. Ow. Okay, those electric orbs are a lot more of a threat to me. At some point, the orbs encircling him, I expect are eyes that I will be able to hit by making a pattern with the four sword here. But whether I have to hit him first to trigger it somehow or not, I don't know. Well, the boomerang definitely ain't it. But there must be something I can do to trigger the eyes opening. Because they're not opening on their own from the looks of it. You know what? Breaking all the obstacles around here has been dropping arrows. Oh. Shoot the eyes opens them. Then I have to match it with the four sword pattern. <sighs> well, I guess I don't have to, but it just seems like my best option. Yeah. 
I guess I do have to. I have to hit four eyes at once in order to actually... Wait. Why are some of them blue? Oh, I bet that makes them uh, impervious to my arrows. So I have to pick a different pattern to go with. Gotcha. Well, this is the pattern I've picked, so I'm going to have to live with that fact. And this arena is getting very full right now, and this is not the pattern I need in order to hit all of those eyes. But I guess it worked anyway for some reason. Um... Front, front left, fr uh, right, and yep. Well, he didn't even block me off that time. Man, this arena is so full of blocks right now, but doesn't matter. Yep, 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 yep. yep. You're, you're moving a little too quick for me to reliably hit eyeballs. Okay, can't do front left. That's fine. I'll try right. Okay, entire right side works. Unless I just don't dodge an attack. Come on. Gotcha. Go down already. How many cycles do I need to get in on you? Come on, come on. You, you keep, you keep just slightly moving. Okay, front. I suppose it's time for a full frontal. By which I mean a full frontal assault. Don't get any funny ideas. Um, Vardy, can you, can you not sit over the area that I need in order to, you know, do the thing? Thanks. There we go. Now, was that just a phase? What? What is this madness? I have the power of a god! I have unstoppable might! How could I lose to a child? This isn't over. Don't act like this is over. You did it! Impressive! Now quickly, break the curse on Zelda. Okay. Uh, princess. Wake up. So, Link, now that you have the power of the Four Sword, you must return Princess Zelda to normal. Right. Do I beam it? I beam it. Hello, princess. It's been a while. What was it? Episode 1? Link, thank you so much for saving me. When I was turned to stone, I saw visions of you, as if in a dream. It looks like the curse has been broken. I'm glad we made it in time. Uh-oh. No! The castle's collapsing! It's too dangerous here! Quickly! We must escape from the castle! Uh-oh. Front door's blocked. Hmm, the door is blocked. We have no choice. Head back to the sanctuary. Gotcha. I know exactly where that is from here. Running into a wall doesn't help. I just equip my Pegasus boots to be cool about running during an escape sequence. And down here, and right, and up we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> you will not escape, boy. Now you will see the true power of the Light Force. For I have become Vati, the master of this world. 
that sounds ominous. That looks ominous. You grow a pair of arms. Oh, how lovely. Um... Is it still arrows? It's not still arrows. Noted. Hmm... Hmm... What is the purpose of the Minish portal here? Do I have to hit the small eyes at small size? I do not. Hmm... I take it the Minish portal is not yet a requirement. Ow. If you don't mind, Vardy, I'd like to, uh, make four of me. Okay, you really appear to mind me doing that right now. But, Vardy, if you would just, just move away from the thing that I need to use. Or I presume I'm gonna need to use it in order to beat you. Okay, you really just follow me too quickly at the moment. Oh, come on! Okay, guess, uh, his arm just breaks my clones instantly. That hand is a real pain, Link. Perhaps one of those gizmos you carry around can do something. Like what? Let's see, I have... I have Gust Jar. No. It's not Gust Jar, not Arrows. Surely not Flame Lantern. Or maybe... Maybe it has to be in this state in order for me to... No? I can't Gust Jar it. Um... Bomb. Bomb. I don't- I don't get it. Would- would the- would the cane do anything? That doesn't seem like the most logical outcome. Can- if I can hit that... What the? There's a door in that. Minish... now. The cane of Parkchi pulled it upwards and there was a door inside. Leading to this whole situation. If I can rapid spin attack, I would love that. Um... Oh! That just did that. Okay, great. Do the same thing to the other arm, then. This is going to be a test of using all my equipment, I bet. Hey, don't waste my rapid spins. Okay, fine, I'll actually try and see where I'm aiming. Can you stop interrupting my charge and also as if I didn't... Okay, fine. I guess. My rapid spin did not work at one point. Even though I was, in fact, repeatedly pressing B. Ow. Wait, why did... Why does me being hit stop the cane from working when the projectile is separate? That is immensely stupid. Now, actually let me hit these things. Wait. Why does it seem like I'm not doing as much damage to them as I previously was? Or any damage? It's clearly hitting them, but it's not doing anything. What? Huh? So I've got to do something else instead, but 
God knows what. Thank you for floating directly into me as I was trying to maneuver around you. Very cool, Varty. Okay, I light up the room. Arrows? For one, turn my lantern back on. Nope, arrows do nothing. Am I actually hurting them at all? I cannot t truly tell. They're flashing as if they're... They were taking damage, it was just so minimal, it was near impossible for me to know. Okay, as soon as my next fairy is used, I'm going to use the, uh, essence of, uh, or, sorry, Nero's charm. Hang on. The eyes are vulnerable, so I'm going to need to, uh, you know, be full-sized me. Get ready. No, don't. I need to somehow not get the four of me hit by that attack in order to repel the blue balls that the eyes shoot. Okay. <laughs> actually turns my tunic blue. Neat. I think... Rock's cape, I can make the four of me jump when the electric attack comes. No, I can't. That makes this infinitely harder. Because I can't all four of me jump and then have to get in front of them and do the thing. Still doable, but much harder to do than if I could just jump the attack. Eyes are still open, so prepared to do the same thing again. Oh, come on. Just didn't hit the left one. There wasn't enough space between shots for me to... Ugh. This is slightly off. Yep. That's so dumb that being just slightly off-center is enough to... It's even worse that there's nothing I can do about that at the best of times. <clears throat> and that wore off Nehru's charm. Lovely. Come on, be close enough. What?! I mistimed my swing, I guess? But that's... Ah, oh, so dodgy. As if... I wasn't even trying to swing at that, I was trying to... There's nothing I can do if you fire that straight on at me, man. What? How did that one... I, I... I don't know how I messed that one up that badly. There we go. Come on. I think one more of those and I'm good. But that's the trick, is getting one more in before I just cock it. This is too far off. Yep. God damn it. And just dodge that, because there's no chance in hell of me doing anything about it. Because he was to the side, that actually worked. There we go. <sighs> Close call. Good fight. Fool! I... but the light force! My power! I had such... power! 
I really did like five different voices in that one text box. <laughs> I guess it makes sense for a dying demonic entity. Hey, look, Ezlo's magical wish cap that caused this whole mess. One might even call it the Minish Cap. Link, thank goodness you're safe. You defeated Varty. You were so brave. But we've lost so much. The castle. All those people. Hmm? Wah. Hmm. Oh my god! Hmm. What's this? The curse. Defeating Varty seems to have broken the curse he cast upon me. Allow me to introduce myself to you, Princess Zelda. My name is Ezlo, master of the Minish law and sorcery. I don't know why I said thee in front of... I blame Link. What, what did I do? The Mage's Cap was my creation. But its limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for your kind. Is there any way you can forgive me? I know many have fallen, and much of the castle has been destroyed. But it is too soon to give in to despair. The curse on me is broken, and Zelda still possesses some of the Light Force. Perhaps, together, we can do something to make things right. If one with a just heart wears this cap, things can be made right again. Link, doesn't it look kind of silly on her? Yeah, it kind of does. Hey! <laughs> Princess Zelda. Let your wishes be made real. Are you telling me this thing is as strong as the Triforce and just grants any wish? Uh, if I said yes, that would be heresy to, to the Golden Goddesses. So I'm not going to say yes. But if you want to infer that's the case... Magic, the uh, the light force, the mage's cap. Ah, everything will be repaired. Hyrule Castle, steadily returning to its normal state, and all those people that were turned to stone, that. Definitely weren't in that hallway previously. Or at least we didn't get to access that hallway in the dark version of the world. Or castle. But also monsters just disappearing. This courtyard restored. Everything is right again. And of course Zelda's lullaby plays. What else would? Look! The castle! All the people who had been turned to stone! They're back to normal! How do we know that? We were kinda standing here. Did we get visions of what just happened? Or did you just infer that from the fact this courtyard was back to normal? Hmm <laughs> hmm! The hat is falling apart. It's overflowing with the power of life. The hat has the power to turn the thoughts of its wearer into reality. Vardy's heart was filled with evil, and that was reflected in what he became. But it seems that Zelda's pure heart, coupled with the hat's power, has created a miracle. Oh. Well, the sanctuary's going to close if I don't go through, so... Looks like the time for us to part has come. The Minish door opens but once every century, and soon it must close. I must leave you both now and return to my homeland. 
I know I've caused you much suffering, but the Evil One's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself has restored the light to Hyrule. Well, Link, my journey with you has been exciting, to say the least. In fact, I'm... more than just a little sad that we must part ways now. Please, accept this. You know, a memento of that time that I was cursed. I'll wear it with pride, though it doesn't feel quite the same without a bird's beak on the end. <laughs> you know, I've never actually seen you wearing a cap until now. It suits you, little hero. Take care. And off he goes. Back to Minish Size. And... Fell? Fell all my thing. Just tiny voice because he's two inches tall. <laughs> and with that, I have completed The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Is it my favourite Zelda game? No, not by a long shot. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Look, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the gameplay. I did not enjoy the completion. Do not... Do not try and 100% this. It's not worth the time when it comes to those damn figurines. And I skipped most of the grinding of those figurines by doing it the technically efficient way, but that took four hours. And I think it was four. It took four hours plus the rest of the episodes in which I occasionally went back to it. If I had just tried to do it all outright, if, if I didn't know in advance that that heart piece would be a problem, I would have been sitting on an inventory full of shells, 999, and would have collected a bunch of extra, completely wasting them, which would have made the grind take another several hours. Don't, don't, don't do completion. Everything but that one piece of heart. If you want to do the phonograph thing of listening to the soundtrack, do it online. Also, there were... There were some kind of obtuse quest lines. But, at the same time, I feel like if I actually sat and explored long enough, I probably would have gotten them. I just... kind of... don't have the time between work and... trying to relax from work. <laughs> and I consider this to be a kind of work in and of itself. So... I've got a job, I've got this hobby that I want to become a job, and then I've got trying to wind down from all this effort that I've put into all these different things. Thus did Link's quest come to an end, but surely this is not the end of Zelda and Link's adventures in Hyrule. The legend will continue. As long as the power of the Light Force echoes throughout the ages. Funny, that specific version of Force doesn't really appear all that often. <laughs> I mean, there's other Four Sword games. You know, the ones actually named Four Swords. This one happened to have the Four Sword, but wasn't, you know, solely based around it. 
It's not the multiplayer experience the other ones are. Anyway. Well. My traditional sitting through credits took a lot less time with that one. Small team between Capcom and Na Nintendo making this. So you know what? For what flaws I think this game has, I can easily forgive Capcom and Nintendo when such a small team was making a Zelda game for the GBA. Because honestly, this game is full of its own charm, just like most Zelda games are. Th there's just a few areas that could have used a little more polish, but other than that, solid, solid time. And the fact that this is done means there are just two more Zelda games that I have access to that, or technically, there's one more Zelda game that I have access to that I haven't played. But in making a series, I will also play its twin. Those, of course, being Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. I'll see you in each of those series. Bye. Thank you.